Dun, 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 dun. Your main event of the evening. The game I've been waiting for all day. I, I will fully admit that I've been waiting for this one since the beginning when I was told I was doing this one. 14U Satellite Beach and 14U Suntree Vieira. Such a star-studded lineups amongst both teams. This is going to be a fun one, folks. In the words of Les, uh, not Les Miles, try uh, Lane Kiffin. Get your popcorn ready. And are you kidding me? The, the Scorpions have taken it over and recovered the kickoff. <laughs> Noah Flores on the fumble recovery, and here comes that offense. Suntree Vieira Youth Football and uh, the Satellite Scorpions. Pay no mind to the scoreboard at the moment. It is first quarter, not fourth quarter. We are in the first quarter. I will change that after this play. The Sun, I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. It's just right there. And Patterson <laughs> takes the handoff, and he will bump and run for a couple of yards on the play, making it second and eight for the Scorpions. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Gridiron Mama. Classy until kickoff. Flores in the gun. Flores steps up, fires, and overthrows everybody on the field. I think uh, it was looking for number 14 on the play. Noah Koravu. And Flores going to take it himself. Noah Flores down the sideline. Spin move. Dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Satellite Beach. Noah Flores just doing Noah Flores things. And it's 6-0 Satellite Beach. And under the kicking there is number 48, Maui Maza. Kick is up and no good. Six nothing, Satellite Beach on top. Maza with an unusual miss. That sun's just setting itself ever so slowly behind those trees. Once it's behind those trees, I'm happy. I will have no complaints. You will hear nothing out of me because, th again, this is the game I've been waiting for. I've been so psyched for this game because I, I, I love both squads. I, I mean, the, the 14U... Suntree Vieira Hawks are the squad that I started following when they were all about 8U. So to see them all grow up and get to this point is pretty awesome for me. And the return there by Floyd. And here comes that... Hawk offense. 
head coach Chad Pulliam. Quarterback under center. And he gives off. Wow. Number 17 there on the tackle. Fallon Batiste. And quarterback's going to take it on his own. There's number eight. He will be wrapped up in the backfield. Noah Renez, the quarterback. And the flock of seat uh, and the uh, group of scorpions there to bring him down. Satellite, satellite Beach up 6 nothing with 7.44 left to go here in quarter number one. Renez under center. Two backs in the backfield. And he's going to hand it off. Trying to reverse field, and you're not going to be able to do that on this defense. This defense is way too, way too quick. So now it's fourth and a trip to Jamaica. For Suntry Vieira. Donovan Richardson, the deep back. Pulling him in motion. And Renez was looking for Pulliam coming across the field. Incomplete, and that'll be turnover on downs. Okay, no, so that was third down. This is fourth down. And that's a high snap. Barely, get, great kick. High kick, and it's been touched. And Flores returns it to about the 15-yard line. Is that running into the kicker? Well, there. Well, let's see. Let's see if it's running into or if it's roughing. And it's a roughing the kicker call. First and 10 now for the Hawks. Renez hands it up the gut and tackle will be made there by number 39. Nope. Not. Yeah. 
Second and ten. And that'll be a free five yards. So it'll be second and five here from the 20 yard line, or not the 20, the 19. And timeout will be called for a water break. Five minutes left to go here in quarter number one. I, while they take a water break, I'm going to take a water break and also remind you all that this broadcast is being brought to you by Gridiron Mama. Classy until kickoff. All right, folks, here we go. Second and five from the 19. And there's a toss to Henderson. Richardson, Donovan Richardson on that carry. And that'll be enough for a Suntry Vieira Hawk first down. And Richardson again, and he will be brought down single-handedly. Anthony Romero on that tackle. And it's second and 15. Cheerleaders doing an, an amazing job over there for. And there's Slade Pulliam. And Pulliam trying to fight for yardage. But one thing you're going to find out about both these squads, their defenses are see ball, get ball. Third down. Third and 14 here for Sun Tree Vieira. Renez hands off to Richardson. Richardson breaks it. Breaks another tackle. Coming right into your living room. And Richardson carving himself out a path. And that'll be a big gain for a first down and then some. First and 10 from the 48-yard line as they are in enemy territory. Renez hands off. There's Xavier Floyd. Floyd getting to the outside. Breaks another tackle and finally shoved out of bounds, but not before he picks up a Suntree Vieira Hawk first down. 2.31 left to go here in the first quarter. Your score, Satellite Beach, 6. Suntree Vieira with work to do.
but a penalty will negate that run. So it'll be first and 16 here for the Hawks. Beautiful sunset here in Vieira. Gives it to Floyd, and Floyd again finds himself running room and gets just past the original line of scrimmage. Second and seven now for Sentry Vieira on that run by Xavier Floyd. There's the toss out to Richardson. Donovan Richardson trying to fight off blocks or trying to fight off tacklers, but it became too much and he got maybe a yard on the play. I'd also like to thank some of our other sponsors Uberzadi, Best Private Investigations, Slow and Low Barbecue. Oh, and uh, ConnectSportsFunding.com. There's the toss to Richardson. Richardson trying to cut back. Those cutback lanes don't stay open for long if they are. Fourth down for the Hawks. As there's nine seconds left, and I, and I think we'll start the second quarter with fourth down for Suntry Vieira. All right, while they take a break to change the quarter, I'm going to take a break real quick, grab another drink of water, and get you ready for second quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, we are here for second quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. 14U action between the Satellite Scorpions and the Suntree Vieira Hawks. Fourth down four, and they're going to fake it. And they will be stopped just short. Number 99 on the tackle, <laughs> Zachary Tiemann. Go 
I, I and and I only take a guess because I have I think I have his biggest fan sitting right here in front of me. <laughs> Flores in the backfield with Patterson. Flores taking a shot, and they are looking for a flag. I hope uh, I hope someone's getting work on uh, getting the lights turned on. So second and ten here from the forty-one yard line. Flores in the gun. Hands off to Patterson. Patterson straight up the gut. Bowling his way out. Excuse me, Mr. Referee. I got places to go. And finally brought down just shy of the opposite 40-yard line. A big run by Patterson. And that's a satellite scorpion first down. And, uh... Listen. <laughs> Flores with Patterson. And that's going to be a false start on the Scorpions. Someone got a little too froggy. Flores drops back. Rolling out. Now he's going to keep it himself. Making people miss left and right. Noah Flores down the sideline. One man to beat. And bo he bows over a defender into the end zone. Touchdown, Satellite Beach. Noah Flores. There is taking a hit, and then there's delivering a hit as you're walking into the end zone. And Noah did the latter. He, Noah laid the boom and then proceeded to still cross that ball across the goal line. I was kind of saying something to that, that effect earlier. I hope uh, somebody's working on getting these lights turned on. Maui Maza set to kick this two-pointer. Kick is up. And good. So with 7.52 left to go here in quarter number two, it is 14-0 in favor of Satellite Beach. <laughs> Maui Maza. Set to do the kickoff duties. Again, that touchdown brought to you by Gridiron Mama. Classy until kickoff.
And that one will go out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. <laughs> so uh, who brought the light-up football? That's all we need, right? Just the light-up football. That's all we need. That, 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 I would say, uh, but if the ball goes that way, that both of you are going to be. All right, so they chose to have him re-kick. Maui Maza set to kick this off for the second time. And that one will be dribbled and picked up. And that is where the Hawks will take over. And it's, it's getting kind of dark. Kind of. Wondering if uh, anyone's on, on work about uh, getting these lights on. <laughs> Seven forty five left to go here in quarter number two. There's the handoff, and I can't tell if that's Richardson or Floyd. Redes, the ball's on the ground. And it's recovered by Satellite Beach. And there is a there is a student athlete on the on the turf. For Vard Sports Network policy, we do not show injuries. And it looks like the student athlete is walking off under his own power. And here we go. Flores out there with now number four in at running back. Zachary Martin. Six forty three left to go here in the first half. And, uh, and I, I think that's a discussion right now is there's a discussion between coaches and officials about uh, the, the getting the lights on for, for player safety and multitude other reasons.
There's a there, there's a young lady going around here on the sidewalk. She's on rollerblades, and 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 they're they're light up. It. <laughs> it, it it looks like a, it looks like a weird haze here here in the camera lens. It, is it looks like the the sunset's a little bit of a haze setting setting over the field. Nice mellow haze. So yeah, that, that that's what's going on. So they they've they've pulled the players off the field for now until we can get some lights. And the lights are starting to come on. And God said, let there be light. And the light was like, hold on, give me a minute. I got to warm up. So now we're just waiting for the lights to fully warm up and Flores under center, or in the gun. F Flores cuts back, and he'll be tackled by Xavier Floyd as the lights. The lights have come on, and we are ready. <laughs> Flores out of the gun gives off to Patterson and he'll get a couple of yards on the play now third down Third and about seven. Flores in the gun. Gives it off to Zach. Oh, fakes the hand off to Zach Martin. And Flores cuts it upfield. Flores. Flores. 
And he will be down inside the three-yard line. First and goal, Satellite Beach. So they are up 14-0 with 5.06 left to go here in the half. My depth perception uh, didn't like me there. So first and 10 from the 13. Flores fires to the end zone and it's in and out of the hands of the receiver, incomplete. Beautiful, beautiful tight spiral there. Flores sits back in the pocket. Now he's going to take off. Now he waits. He throws. Corner of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Adrian Garcia, the intended receiver, in the corner of the end zone. That's going to bring up third and ten for Satellite Beach. Picks that snap off the ground. Flores will be taken out of bounds. And it will be fourth down. And here comes the heavy package. Timeout, Suntree Vieira. Again, this broadcast is brought to you by Gridiron Mama. Classy until kickoff. 439 left to go here in quarter number two. And here we, Vieira wants to talk about this. Flores in the gun, Patterson to his right. He's rolling out. Flores, spin move. And he's... Watch the hands, guys. And he... Flores will pick up the first down with his legs. First and goal inside the five-yard line.
Flores spins. End zone. Touchdown. Sun Tree Vieira. Or uh, Satellite Beach. Touchdown. Satellite Beach. 3.52 left to go here in quarter number two. And there's a penalty. And it looks like the penalty is on Sun Shrivier, so I th So are they going to give him another shot to re-kick? Didn't even see what the signal was. So Maui Maza get a chance to put this one through the updates, uprights. <laughs> Kick is up. And wide right. But Satellite scores on a Noah Flores, picking it up with his feet. Touchdown. And it's 20 to 0. Look how pretty this guy is. I mean, that's just, that, that's beautiful. Only in Florida. On a Saturday night with youth football. Everybody's inside watching college football when they should be watching this. 3.52 left to go in the half. And the ball's on the ground. And they're going to say he was down by contact. Three forty-three left to go here in the first half. Coming up at halftime, absolutely nothing. Renez drops back, steps up, and he fires a deep ball, and it will be un underthrown. He was looking for Pulliam.
Right is under center. It's going to be a wide receiver screen. Slade Pulliam. And Pulliam will be knocked out about the 35-yard line. And off up the middle to Richardson. And it'll be just shy of the 40 yard line. Fourth and one from the 39. Where did I miss the other play? Never mind, I didn't. And they're just going to try to sneak it on over. Noah Renez. One thirty-eight left here in the first half. Score right there on the Gridiron Mama scoreboard. 20 to nothing. First down, Suntry Vieira. Ren is in the gun. Check that under center in the I formation. And he's going to give it off. Xavier Floyd and Floyd will have contact made at about the line of scrimmage. May have picked up a yard on the play. Maybe. Penalty on Suntry Vieira. And there, balls on the football's on the ground, and I think it's recovered by Suntry or uh, by Satellite Beach. Or did something happen at the bottom of that pile? And it's still Suntry Ball. 14 seconds and counting. Second and really long. Wide receiver screen attempt, and uh, that ball was thrown to those in the first row of the bleachers. But we head into halftime with your score. Satellite Beach, 20. Suntry Vieira, 0. We'll be right back with second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network.
All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brevard Sports Network as we get set for second half action. While we have a quick moment, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Uberzati, Slow and Low Barbecue, Best Private Investigations, Kendall Signs, and ConnectSportsFunding.com. And Suntry Vieira is set to kick off the second half. Remember, Suntry Vieira was supposed to get the ball to start the first half, but Satellite Beach recovered the, f recovered the kickoff to which they end up scoring. And that one's recovered by the Scorpions recover. Flores sends a man in motion. Gives on the handoff to number 11. Number 11 will pick up a gain of a couple yards there on the play. Tristan Tyson on the carry. And off right up the middle. And that'll go for a couple yards. Third and five for the Scorpions. Flores takes a shot, and it's caught. Number two on the reception, Lucas Vaselli. Oh, that was a touchdown. So touchdown, Lucas Vaselli. Maui Maza, or no, Flores takes the knee. Flores takes the knee to not make it a running clock. Yeah, 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 exactly. 
And Tennessee has upset Alabama. I, 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 he, he said upset of the century. Tennessee over Alabama. Rocky Top, I can only imagine the scene that is happening tonight. Insurance companies are sweating right now. Mazza. On the kick and the return there. And what a return there for Suntry Vieira as they take over. Donovan Richardson on the return. So it's 26 uh, nothing. What do the Suntry Vieira Hawks have up their sleeve? And fumbled snap. Recovered by the Hawks. Second and ten for Century Vieira. And look at that handoff. Third and about four for the Hawks. There's another handoff in they are short. That's going to bring up fourth down. First and 10 for the Hawks. They picked it up. There's a handoff, and he'll be knocked out close to the 40-yard line. I believe that was Richardson on the carry. Second and seven for the Hawks. 5.56 left to go here in quarter. Number three. (laughs) Trying to make sure your man's in the correct spot for the play. There's the toss. And what a play. Will Copeland shot the gap. Listen, Will Copeland is decepting, deceptively fast. You, you you would think a guy his size can't be that quick. He he's got a he's got a little get off there that if you're not paying attention, he'll blow by you and make the play in the backfield.
Renez with the throw and a completed catch. Water break here in the third quarter. 4.34 left to go. Slade Pulliam was on that reception. With 4.38 left to go here in quarter number three, we head to a water break right here on the Brevard Sports Network. And here we go, back to third quarter action. Renez hands off there to number one. Number one trying to get around to the outside, and he might have gotten a yard or two. William McClure. Picked up. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Renez in the gun. Now he walks up under center. And play action, and it's incomplete. Zach, Zachary Teeman on the quarterback pressure forcing that that throw looked hurried of course then again when you have a uh, guy like Zachary coming at you you uh, you, you don't want to get sandwiched if you don't have to there's the handoff to Richardson and Richardson Busts his way to the 50-yard line. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth and about six. Three fifteen left to go here in quarter number three. And Renez looking for a receiver, and he finds one. Completion. And that's going to be enough for a Suntree Vieira Hawk first down. Cannot see who the completion was to. And as play action, he rolls outside. He's going to take it himself. And he looks like he ran somebody over. But second and five. Let 
They're in plus territory here. Renez fired, and that bounced off his receiver's hands. He was looking for number 88 there, the intended target. Dylan Arroyo. Renez drops back, and now he's scrambling. He, I mean, he has no time to, th to even set his feet to throw the football. He's got to get somewhere quick. Might have gotten about a yard or two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And 128 left to go here in quarter number three. Your score up there on the gridiron mama scoreboard 26 to zero. And that'll be a free five yards. Whistles are blowing, flags are flowing. Oh, and the penalty will be on the Hawks. Backing them up five yards. Yeah, no, that it's a bit loud. Ha ha. <laughs> Renez. Play action. He's taking a shot, and he was looking for number one, William McClure. And Satellite will take over first and ten with a minute five left to go here in quarter number three. I like the play call there. It, the the pass has got to be uh, a little more on target. First and ten for the Scorpions here. Flores... Sets, sets his feet, and he will be sacked. Noah Rena is on the sack. So that'll be a loss of about five yards on the play. Flores, and that pass will be completed. And he hits number 12 on the reception. Connor McGrew. So McGrew gets a reception tonight. And that will be the final play of the third quarter with your score. Satellite Beach 26, Century Vieira 0. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network.
All right, we're back. Fourth quarter action here on the Brevard Sports Network. No, those lights in the background, they're not for this field. Not again. False start on the Scorpions. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty third in about 16 for the Scorpions. Flores slung to the ground for a sack. By Noah Rennes. Quarterback sacking the quarterback. Bring up a fourth and extremely long now. Fourth and that trip to Disney World we all like. Flores reversing the field and there he goes. He's got daylight and that's what he does. And it'll, it'll be turned over on downs, but Flores showing what he can do. All right, so here's the punt unit. Check that out, punt unit. Here's the offensive unit for Sunshine Vieira and looking for a little cutback crease. Donovan Richardson finds a nice little cutback crease and gets a few yards. 7.28 left to go here in quarter number four. I formation. Once again, back to Richardson. Richardson do, doing some dancing. He breaks free. Richardson into the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Tree Vieira. And that touchdown will stick. 26 to 6 pending the extra point. Donovan Richardson has been run, has been running hard all night. It's good to see him get in the end zone. And there is a NPR meeting going on down here.
And apparently everything checks out. So the two-point kick. Kick is blocked. But Suntree Vieira has gotten on the board. 26 to 6. Seven oh seven left to go in the game. This is, it's been a fun day here at Suntree Vieira. So far, Suntree Vieira has gone three and two on the day. Seeing a lot of great action here. And so there's a squibber. Satellite will get the ball first and 10 from the 49 yard line. their own 49. Time out. Seven oh one left to go here in the game. as the Rocky theme song blares throughout the, uh, throughout Vieira Regional Park here at the football part of the complex. It's a, it's been a beautiful day for football. Little, you know, a little rain in the morning, but uh, the equipment was protected and everything was a go. So, you know. All in all, it's been a good day. It's been a nice breeze. All day that's kept it nice and cool. Sends a man in motion. Flores. That's a pa that's a backward pass, or at least I thought it was a backward pass. Because he threw it even behind his receiver. He was looking to hit Colston Patterson on a swing pass. Flores takes a low snap, fires that one, and that one's caught. Who was that completed to? With number two. Coming across the middle. Lucas Vaselli, 
who has a touchdown catch tonight. Flores in the gun. Flores fakes the handoff, and wow, pulled down by his face mask, it looked, at least to me. But uh, great job shooting the gap there. Slade Pulliam on the sack. Five, own, five minutes left in the ball game. Flores has no time. He, he's got to escape. Steps up, fires. Deep downfield, he's got a man wide open, and it's caught. Touchdown, Satellite Beach. Way to escape pressure and get that completion. Number 12, Connor McGrew on the reception. And what that was, he, he, he evaded two defenders, rolled out, stopped. And see, there's the difference between a last year Noah Flores and this year's Noah Flores. Last year's Noah Flores would have just took off running there. This year's Noah Flores stopped, set his feet, made it through a dime to a wide open receiver. Great job. And, and that's just one of the biggest improvements you've seen from this Satellite Beach squad. That is the defending National runner-ups. Great coverage there in the end zone. Thirty-two to six is now the score. So I will take the time to update the scoreboard with four forty-six left to go here in the game. Touchdown brought to you by Gridiron Mamas. Classy until kickoff. <laughs> and Richardson picks up the return. Sorry, uh, one, of the, one of the kids was doing something here in the grass, and it, 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 it was hilarious. I'm, uh, the, the atmosphere all day today has been fantastic here. And a water break with 440 left to go in the quarter. Again, just a great day of football. The 11U game was only one score. Sun Suntry Vieira scored with 44 or 41 seconds left on a double reverse in an eight to nothing victory. I mean, that to, to me that that's the best game of the day. Good defensive struggle, and then you win on a double reverse with 41 seconds. Now, I haven't had a chance to see any of Allen's games. I don't know if his games were. But so far, my game of the day is 11U. Suntry Vieira versus Satellite. Back 
Back to the action and Noah Renez under center. Running someone on last second. And Pulliam in motion. And that ball was handed off to Richardson and Richardson was wrapped up in the backfield and that'll be a loss of four on the play, second and 14. Renez under center. Renez drops back. Went to step up to throw. And he will be sacked. Number 55, Donald Klein with the sack. On sportsmanlike conduct on Suntree Vieira. And a timeout taken by timeout taken by Suntree Vieira as well. So it'll be uh, second and extremely long. And another timeout, or on, so wait, they just called two timeouts back to back? I'm not sure, they just signaled timeout, so this is a timeout, Suntree Vieira, two minutes and 53 seconds left to go here in the game. As uh, smooth criminal blasts in the background. So it looks like Suntree Vier will go an even three and three on their homecoming weekend. And balls inside the five yard line. And it looks like they're going to bring the blitz. That's a quick pass. He was looking to hit Pulliam down the seam, and, uh, and that pass will fall incomplete. But, uh, Satellite Beach was going was bringing the house. You got to like that make the quarterback for, force the throw when he doesn't want to. Rene is under center. And there's a swing pass, and that's a backward pass. Ball's in the end zone. Picked up by the, by the Hawks, and might have just gotten out of the end zone. And there's a flag that came in really late. That looked like a Scooter Morrison thrown flag.
He's not he, he's not on the crew tonight, but I'm just saying as high as that flag went. So it's now is now fourth down on like the one inch line. And they're gonna punt out of their own end zone and, and it's blocked. And the Scorpions fall on it. Two twenty one left to go in the game. And it will be first and goal inside the five. Folks, do not click on any of the links in our chat. Flores sur surveying the field, st steps up, throws, nearly intercepted. Flores drops back, and the whistles blow this one dead. Timeout called by Suntree Vieira with 2.01 left to go in the game. Again, I'd like to thank Gridiron Mama for sponsoring the broadcast. Classy until kickoff. I'd like to thank some of our other sponsor, all of our other sponsors tonight or today. Uberzati, Slow and Low Barbecue, Best Private Investigations, Kendall Signs, and ConnectSportsFunding.com. Flores in the gun. Drops back, and he's going to take a shot to the end zone. Almost, almost a completion in the corner, but no cigar. And Satellite has a penalty called on them. And that'll back him up. Minute 54 left to go in the game. And another penalty. Flores escapes the pocket, looking downfield, puts on the brakes, and He'll be brought down after a gain of about five or six. And it's third down. Wow. 
And a timeout. Nope, there's a penalty. Offsides on the Hawks. One sixteen left to go in the game. Again, big thank you to all the sponsors. Big thank you to everyone who tuned in tonight all day long. Thanks for sticking it out with me. It's been a really fun day and Third and goal from the 15. Flores takes a shot to the end zone, and it's going to be... Incomplete. Again, beautifully thrown ball. Either his receiver was going to catch it or nobody was going to catch it. One oh eight still to go in the ball game. And there's a free five yards. Flores trying to escape pressure, dragging a defender, but finally brought down as Suntry Vieira just brought the house. Turnover on downs, and there's 58 seconds left to go in the game. So another shot for Sun Vieira to try to put some more points on the board. 55 seconds and the clock is rolling. Renez, hands off. And that'll be a nice gain there by number 54. Take that 53. But it will be for not as there was a penalty on the play. Rene is under center. And that looks like that one was to Richardson and that will do it folks. Your score. Final from 14U. Vieira goes 3-3 three three on the day. Your final from 14U. 32-6. to six. Keep it posted to the Brevard Sports Network to find out what we'll be doing this week. 
for everyone, for Ron Ramsey, for everyone in the Satellite Beach organization, everyone in the Sunshine Vieira organization, and everyone involved with BSN, I'm Caleb Brown saying good night. And if you wouldn't mind, be so kind. Be like Motel 6 and leave the light on for us. Have a good night.